The COVID-19 crisis has made it very clear that IDPs being a very vulnerable group has become even more vulnerable because of the pandemic. From the IOM side, we reach out to roughly 22 million IDPs plus 6 million people in host communities. The conundrum on IDPs is that humanitarian relief is usually a short-term approach to a crisis. Development actions only produce results in the long term. So the link between the way we do humanitarian relief and we pave the way for the development perspectives will be essential to find solutions for IDPs. We have given priority to collecting data, data on IDPs. And I must say that the, the picture is dramatic because they are out of reach of universal health coverage. There are serious gaps in access to health services to IDPs. And the danger here is that they might start being looked at the carriers of the virus, being stigmatized, uh, provoking uh, xenophobic reactions and increasing the tensions between IDPs and host communities. Universal health care coverage needs to be guaranteed to all IDPs and that is a responsibility of the countries. We need to fully incorporate the needs of IDPs in the national plans of economic recovery after the pandemic. Because they can be an asset. IDPs can be an agent of development.